Why are more young people in Malaysia being declared bankruptcy nowadays? They do not prepare for financial planning, not spending wisely, uncontrolled use of credit cards, failure to pay off the loans and car installments. What is the effect if the cash inflows are less than the cash outflows? Cash inflows means the total income, cash outflow means the total expenses. Negative cash flow of an individual in a financial plan will lead to individual's bankruptcy and he or she will not have enough saving in case of emergency. What is the purpose of creating a financial plan? A financial plan is created with the aim of estimating the initial budget to achieve goals and money savings steps are needed to achieve short-term goals and long-term goals, analyze spending behavior as well as setting a duration to achieve the goals. If two advantages of reviewing and revising the progress of a financial plan. When we review and revise the progress of a financial plan, it gives us some space to refine our nature of spending and it also helps in generating more income in order to achieve the goals. Describe two factors that make a financial plan difficult to implement. Inflation, changes in government taxation policies, economic policies, and others. How should we review and revise the progress of a financial plan? The way of spending can be adjusted based on financial goals. Actions can be taken such as generating more income. The earlier we start saving, the better it is to achieve our financial goals, explain. We should start to cultivate the saving habit as early as possible to ensure that financial goals can be achieved as planned. Injit Nabil worked as an engineer in a factory with a monthly net salary of 3,800 ringgit. He is also a part-time sales agent of Product X. The monthly commission earned is estimated to be 450 ringgit. The rental collected from the second house is 600 ringgit per month. His estimated monthly expenses are shown below. Injit Nabil set aside 10% of his salary as fixed monthly saving in order to achieve his financial goals. You are required to create a monthly personal financial plan for Injit Nabil. After that, give comments on the surplus or deficit that will be experienced by Injit Nabil based on this financial plan. This is the format of financial plan. You can get it from the previous video. The net salary is 3,800 ringgit. Net salary is active income. The amount is written on the left side. The commission earned is 150 ringgit, which is active income, and the amount is also written on the left side. The total active income is the summation of these two amounts, and is written on the right side, 4,250 ringgit. There is only one passive income. Rental 600 ringgit. The amount is written on the left side, so the total passive income is still 600 ringgit. So the total monthly income is the summation of these two amount. This is 4,850 ringgit. The fixed monthly saving is 10% of his salary, which is 380 ringgit. So the total income after deducting the saving is. 4,850 ringgit minus 380 ringgit, which is 4,470 ringgit. All the totals are written on the right side. Fixed expenses. Housing loan installment 1, 800 ringgit. Housing loan installment 2, 500 ringgit. The last fixed expenses is insurance expenses, 350 ringgit. So the total fixed expenses is the summation of these three amount and are written on the right side, which is 1,650 ringgit. Variable expenses, put expenses 900 ringgit. Utility payments 150 ringgit. Toll and petrol expenses 200 ringgit. Internet service subscription 100 ringgit. The last viable expenses is it at luxury restaurant, 400 ringgit. So the total viable expenses is the sum of these amounts, which is 1,750 ringgit, and are written on the right side. Surplus or deficit. The 
total income after deducting of the saving from the previous table is 4,470 ringgit. So to find the surplus, 4,470 ringgit minus 1,650 ringgit minus 1,750 ringgit equals 1,070 ringgit. Jake Nabil's personal financial plan has a surplus where there is a positive cash flow when the total income is more than the total expenses. What is the effect if there is a positive cash flow? Enable savings and achieve goal as planned. What is the effect if there is a negative cash flow? Making it difficult for someone to achieve financial goals and more inclined to obtain loan resources such as credit cards.